Okay, so um, this is the um, interface of the Quality 2.1. So it's not really very hard software, but it's just easy. So when when the, when I was in Juan Baguet, um, College Baguet, I used to have a part time mixing uh, uh, my songs. So this is what I use, and it's very easy to use. So first, we need to have this one. Um, this panel here is a file which you can import the songs or like for example in animation where you can import the sound, background music or the dubbing because if you try to dub and then you cut it in a normal way or in, <clears throat> in Adobe, Adobe Flash then you cannot really get the timing on it right so you need to have this one in order for you to edit the sound waves of your dubbing or background music okay so I'll give you an example now everything is a default I did not change any settings of this so just leave it there okay now to import a file here this one you need to click this folder okay this one here are you following mm. okay after that then you locate where is the file so like for example in my part so I have the music music here and I go to no like for example this one just an example it's wave so it's gonna you cannot try to change also the files type type of file so to all files then for example this one one okay it's gonna import and load your uh, song or background music the one you recorded for your animation okay so it's like it's look like this okay <clears throat> is it hard is this the final no not yet so as you can see there is a icon here at the top this one see it yeah this is the um this is the multi-track view so since we imported the file this one that we imported we can also drag it here if we are playing more more than or if we are trying to mix more than one music okay so since it's one so it's gonna stay here so to drag this out to move this from left to right you hold your mouse right click hold from left to right got it yeah. okay so you can test this one for example here by pressing the space bar or play the play button here this is the control of your um, editing part this one here so we have the stop play pause those are the very common one fast forward rewind go to the beginning and go to the last part and this one is record so there's no there's no need to record okay so for example I'm gonna hit the play you can see here the duration of your uh, the duration of your music or audio and then the tempo here you can edit and the beats bar here you can edit and then it's up to you if you want but just leave it okay and default don't touch anything it's all it's it will be fine okay so just go with your go with your um go with your goal na you need to edit your audio diba? you need to edit your background because sometimes when we edit oh the car was go, uh, passed by and then there's a sound so you need to remove that one so you can use this one okay so to, to stop here, 
you need to stop that one now I want this to edit okay so for example now to zoom in or zoom out you need to hold the control button and scroll mouse center which means it is uh, zooming okay zooming on the sound waves in the sound waves okay to more focus on as you can see here at the top this is your navigation from left to right okay this is your navigation from left to right like for example I want to remove the first part this one the counting part Six, five, four, three, two, one. Then I want to cut that one there, right? So the first thing you need to do is you, you see this yellow. This yeah. is this yellow indicator. So just hover on the last part of it, and then you need to press the letter S. Um, yeah, is 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 it S? So let's go back or you just right click and split once it's split which means it is being sliced okay so na, na slice siya yeah, meaning na putol okay one cut so like for example i'm gonna drag this one so i'm using the right mouse i'll right click hold mouse and move this forward here and i'm just gonna put it here so Let's see if the counting, count, uh, I mean the countdown was being removed. So let's try. So which means it's being removed already. Diba? Okay. So you're just gonna right click, right click, then split. Okay? Or you need to, you know, you, you just need to. Um, experiment on this but the most important is you know how to remove the f the sound waves of your uh, background or dubbing because sometimes if we record then it's not really good in our part or there's something like oh I hear something that is not really necessary from the audio then I'm just gonna cut this off right so okay just cut it off use your uh, cool edit pro okay any questions now for saving like for example yeah I'm done I'm gonna put it here so be careful because this one I split the one, one, one song into two uh, two tracks Nasia, yeah, right this one and number two track yeah before I forget this one is the navigation from up and down from 128 track to one okay so this time it's it's just a two tracks so what happen if this will be two tracks so they will what gonna play both they will sound together yeah okay so a space bar for the play shortcut it's very you hear the other track yeah. it's counting okay so and also we have here um there's this one is uh i think it's dead let's use the no ah this one is m it's mute m so if you have track that you really don't want to hear from your being editing okay you're editing something and you don't want to hear so there is a track that mutes uh there is a function that mutes the track so i mute the track at the very first part so i will not be able to hear the first track anymore okay it's just very simple so we have some effects if you want so you can just click and drag these effects but it's not really that important the most important is you know how to cut you know how to um 
Divide? Yeah, divide your track, mix some mix some music or you know. Just just experiment on this. Okay? And then you will you know you will master this one. It's very easy. It's not really that hard, okay? So any questions?